Hi, so we have another intense game between 11 QIGS. Let's have a quick look. So far, so good. And the low approach is the most common Kakari nowadays. White plays a very proper move to defend the corner. This game might be a bit surprising. Usually, here, uh, Black extends to space jump to fix a base. Playing the slide, White can put pressure. Uh, several times with the shoulder hit. Now black can get ahead or play K in order to prevent being uh, surrounded and then white can approach the top and then extend back. So this way white can step out a, set up a nice boy in the top after pushing a couple of times at D14 and D13. It's good direction to play to play O17 right away. Well, playing p18, it's a move where uh, black wants to go for the corner, but the most pop proper way is to protect at r14. Also, black can ignore and play another move in the top left corner, like d13 to prevent being pressed down, and then white needs to extend in the top, usually j17, and then black still has time to protect the corner. If white plays away, let's say double approach, then black comes out and white invades the corner, uh, then black can play a pincer in the top. So now the two stones in the top left corner, they start to, to become thin and white became a target. So playing p18, it's probably not the best move for black, but it's playable. In order to punish that p18, White can think about the double approach from R14. Because the way of thinking is that if black is supposed to play R14, if black plays any other move in that corner or he plays away, it's natural for white to take his good spot. So when playing P18, if uh, white simply blocks and black comes out and white plays a no B or jump, black protects the corner and then white extends in the top. So this way black gets to surround the top right corner. That's his original plan. Because <clears throat> maybe he was thinking if he goes uh, R14, then white can either slide to reduce the corner or jump in Sun Sun. But going Sun Sun right away, it's not that uh, great. Because in this case, uh, black can trade, give up the corner and go for the top side. So, when white pushes here, why should also turn? White can back to play this move. If you want to play the move around K16 or let's say L17, the push is now needed P17. Because once white pushes here, then black gets much stronger in the corner. So this exchange can be considered an Ajikeshi. Otherwise, if white skips the exchange, later on uh, it's much easier to approach the right side or play an attached move and go out. So white has other options to approach the top right corner. Now, it's natural to turn at 018 because even if black invades the top, if white needs to make life, it's easy to capture one stone and then fix the group right away. Also, when turning here, black should play another move to protect the corner. In this case, black can consider Q13 or R13 to build more than going just R14. So white extends back. It's a pretty big point though, but then when black plays under at 018, then the 017 stones are hurt. And normally white needs to jump or get ahead, but it's still heavy, so white better gives up the two stones and puts pressure on the left side. Now this is a little bit uh, desperate invasion. So first things first, Black should protect the left side, then if white plays another move to secure the top, black can push. So the top side is not going to be that large. And after this happens, black can just go for a big point. In the open spaces. Now when playing here, uh, white doesn't have to attack right away. It's good to try a preparation first, so put some pressure here. Now usually black uh, gets ahead with this move. But this one leaves some Aji, because white can push here first, and if black simply blocks, white can use the cuts. Now there are two cutting points, white will cut on the outside, if black captures a stone, white will catch the other two. No way out here. 
So giving bait one stone will uh, damage the corner. Now, if black goes here and white is trying to see how black reacts with this move, black should actually go down in order to get rid of the kataji. But again, black can play, uh, white can play another move to press the left side and the top stone, it's weak as it stands. So even if white doesn't approach directly, that stone is still uh, pretty thin. So the principle says you gotta make some noise on the west to kill the east or the other way around. That's why it's good to start putting pressure here. If black comes out, white profits in the corner. So when black goes no B, uh, with these four C moves, uh, white got stronger. So now it's much easier to try to surround the top weak stone. And it's good to push white, uh, black weak groups in, into the wall instead of pushing him out. Now when black plays this move, it's not the best shape. White can push one time, then block here, threatening to connect under. So black re black's formation is just heavy and running without ice. In that case, black should consider the push to make a straight formation, then turn once, and now attach. Oops, that's an empty triangle attached like this. So when white plays no B, black connects and he goes out. If white pulls back, black can block and make a nice shape to escape towards the center. Try to connect under, it's not really necessary here. Where black is brave. Then on this cut, <coughs> white can consider the Atari first. Then if black connects, white goes down and it's a good fight when black goes here, white captures the stone, then black has to go out several times to connect under. But then white can target the stones in the middle or go back for attacking the left side, this time by taking away the, the extension and then jump into the middle. So this fight looks uh, slightly better for white. Also, if black captures, white can attack and cut from behind, then again, Black has to look for a base in the top. Well, eventually black will connect under, but now there is this push and capture the core in order to use the other cuts. So white has a pretty nice wall and black's territory is very low on the second line. Then again, attack this way <coughs> to use the wall. So go down, then black connects solid. Black should actually push K17 because this one is threatening to capture a g18 so when white takes uh, uh, the stone in the top to stay connected black can make nice shape if white plays the cut first uh, then black defense uh, this can be tricky then if hane atari wants then there are some ladders atari again atari under block first because again white has to come back and then, oh, this is dangerous. Black needs to go out. Okay, so it seems I misread. Black has to connect solid. Because the cut uh, gives white uh, a chance to fight back. I mean, normally uh, white simply connects here, but then black will ladder the two stones. So in order to prevent the ladder, white will honey first. And then black has to atari, atari and connect. But if this happens, white can ladder this direction. So black needs this atari too, and then connect. Now when white goes out, then black has to protect somehow, but it's not so easy. It's actually painful when this happens. Well, it's still a fight, but it feels like uh, Black rolled too much in the top, so and now he's running in the middle heavily. Okay, this this looks okay for white. So yeah, black needs to connect, threatening to capture a G18. So white turns, but this will hurt the right side. Now honey here, mm, it's not so great. Normally turn uh, when black plays this one, capture when black takes the extension, come out. 
playing here, black will turn in center. Black should just go down. Because now, when white connects or defends the top right, either like this or like this, black can catch three stones. And that's a lot of profit. White had originally some moyo in that area, and now it disappeared. So cut, then go down. It's actually better to connect under. Even if uh, black goes Atari and he connects, it's not such a big deal. White can still save his stones. <clears throat> so this way, there are lots of uh, shortage of liberties. So when playing here, black can uh, sacrifice or throw in, then play on the outside, then Hane wants Atari and Atari under, Atari from the outside again, and then come out like this. So in the end, even if white captured those stones in the top, black got very thick in the middle. So this feels good for black. White crawls too much. So going back is fine. Then honey to separate. <clears throat> Atari is natural. But now I doesn't have to play the, the empty triangle. Why should push again? Because when in danger and you don't have enough space for a base, you gotta go out in the middle. Now here, uh, black can extend to prevent the Atari. Then white can turn. If black goes Atari on two stones, it's not such a big deal. If black tries, for example, this move, uh, white can just discard the two stones and capture the top. Again, it's not a problem because black invested many moves there and white is alive. Then black needs another move to protect the top right corner and you can leave the position like this to focus in the other areas on the board. So playing this kind of move is just painful. Another shape point white can think about is the one space jump. And then if black tries to surround the group, white has the Atari, then the block and go down to make twice. But it feels painful. So turn, push and come out in the center. So usually when you don't have enough space to build eyes locally, it's good to get out into the middle faster. Push here is nice. This block removes the liberty. So again, go out and then make some shape. Now the idea of pushing from uh, this direction first, it's to, if, if black ignores going out, just Atari once and then connect. And now uh, black is uh, hunted. He's got only one eye in the top. So he needs to jump out and White will jump along, and White is one step ahead. So jump, then Black turns. This is an important turn for Black. Hmm. Yeah, you still need to run out, because the group is not safe. Instead of playing this kind of move, it's more interesting to go for the dog mouth formation. Now, if black tries to capture two stone, uh, four stones, you should just discard them and go for a base on the right side. In the end, these are like nine points captured, so white can get a few moves somewhere else and build more. Anyway, it's hard to kill that group anymore, so you better focus in other places. Now, on this move, uh, Black has a snapback next, and it's a bit difficult to protect everything. So probably the best thing to do is to give up those guys and make some eye shape. When black blocks, you connect, black goes down and keep jumping out in a fast way. This is a bit heavier and black can still capture those stones. Actually, black should push first. Taking now, it's only four points capture. Pushing here uh, creates more Aji. So white needs this kind of move. Then black can push and cut and gain some territory on the right side while attacking. <coughs> so black decided to capture two stones. Then white is looking for eye shape. Now the proper way would be to play P14. Because then if black tries any other move, around here to remove the base, 
or I can use the dead stones to Atari and go down and create eye shape as well. It's hard for black to catch that group now. Playing a move like R11 helps black because one, once black blocks R10 then he gets stronger and white still needs moves to go up and down and save his group. And if this happens black just uh, got a lot of potential on the right. So go down. Ah, then play away. Well, this is brave because there's still a G in the top. So it would be proper to play here. But it's good direction to play if we disregard the position in the top where white is kind of thin. So black is trying to take advantage, but should play the peep from the other side and then keep removing the base in order to chase the group. Now the way to protect it's actually the Kosumi in this case because when black pushes and cuts it doesn't work. Or I can just capture. Also pushing and cutting the other way is uh, impossible. So playing this move uh, white can create a double tiger mount. The so called trumpet formation. Well after the peeps it looks heavy but at least it's connected. Like that, black can push through. And normally you still want to block here. First of all, if uh, black is trying to cut like that, white has a ladder or no B in order to fight some more. Well, playing the ladder, black will attack it from behind and capture those guys on the side. But now white got very strong in the middle, so he can peep and surround the top group. And in this case, it's hunter hunted. So, if something like this happens, black will die faster in the top. So even if uh, white lost those three stones on the right side, the compensation is very large, killing the top group. So that would be a chance for uh, white to take uh, the lead early on. Now for black to play no beats better, because it kills the group on the right side and creates a cutting point so white needs to protect somehow playing like this white can play the wedge to get stronger there's double atari so black needs to protect and then white is strong so again white can think about ways to attack and surround the top group playing away from this fight it's not so interesting because uh and 13 group is still thin and so is the top uh, black group so right now uh, the fight is still critical in the middle. Now, Black felt that he needs to go out. Actually, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit too far. How about just a um, uh, horse neck shape or honey first and then attack from here? Good idea for white to try to separate at K13. <clears throat> but then why should push with a strong uh, shape? Now black has to fight back like this. And it's still only one eye. <clears throat> Not so easy. So how to go out on a... Very difficult to escape. Therefore, it seems the jump was a little bit too large, should be uh, tighter in order to stay safe. Either one space jump or two space jump uh, or the, the large knife move or Ogema. So white comes between the groups, hmm. but should still need to cover. Because uh, black is not alive. And if black tries to cut like this, white will uh, capture. Okay, there's a squeeze play, but black needs eye shape in the top. So, honey, in order to keep the pressure, if black honey here, you either cut and extend, or Atari from behind and Atari the three stones, then connect. So now black is in trouble again double up this will allow black uh, a double up too in order to stay connected 
Uh, playing the costume it's a bit dangerous. Why can't cut this? Why can't play here, here and this? I think that happens shortly. So black goes out. Diagonal move again. One space jump would be interesting to keep more pressure on the group. Try to confine. And now cut. This was good. Because even if black escapes in the top now, he has a problem with the middle group. So black is trying to go out. In this case, uh, I should cut first. Then extend like this. Because the top group is not yet alive. Black needs more moves to live like this. <coughs> and then white can surround the top again. Also the middle group is uh, pretty much in danger. So white had a nice chance to finish the game early it seems. Ah, difficult for this to escape anyway. Good Tesuji trying uh, to cut Kema at the waist. But the follow up, not so good. Playing this Atari, black can go out. So in this case, white should Atari from the outside in order to surround the group. Now black has two options, either connect solid or capture the stone. If connect solid, then white surrounds. If black tries to escape, white plays Atari and then connect. So the group has only one eye in the middle. There are no uh, ways to, to go out like that. It will be captured fast. <clears throat> so if black captures, then white either plays Atari to block, I mean to take away liberty, and then go for the kill. Uh, let's see how is the liberty situation now. Atari, take another liberty, one, two, three. So this can happen in center, take a liberty. And now it's one, two, four. No, three, one. Ah, okay. So white still wins the semi. So black had another chance to, sorry, white had another chance to, to kill big. This way black got out, white is still on the run with the large dragon. And it's more proper to make a shape like this. Or at least jump along here. So the black group in the middle is still under pressure. Now peep first to keep some uh, eye shape and then connect all the way down. Black is actually still on the run with the huge group in the middle. Now it got a little more tricky. Uh, white can wedge and then on this Atari go out. Oh, but we have a semi. Many liberties for black, so okay, it's risky. In that case, white should just protect. But it's better to play a peep first, make white uh, black heavy, and then connect at N5. So white shape is much stronger, and black just has a stick of stones running to uh, survive somehow. Okay, this turn is good. Atari cut is nice too. Uh, it's more interesting to go down. Then if black plays the hanging connection, Atari can capture more stones. If black goes out here, white can Atari and catch this guy, but it's also possible to cut like this and go for the kill in the middle again. So if black connects, then you start removing liberties from the outside. And white states one, two, three. I mean black has four liberties, should be fine. Two more liberties left, so white again kills big. Like this black got a Ponuki with L4. Well, white is safe too, but now it's hard to attack that group any longer. Instead of playing Atari, it's more interesting to attack from the left side. Just uh, force uh, black get a small life on the bottom. Is white already alive here? Atari go down. Yeah, seems pretty safe already. And then after uh, black makes life, just switch the target to the other places. So build a lot on the left side while attacking. 
Black has a big right side, but if white makes a, a lot on the left side, it's still a good game. Yeah, so black extends here. Taking the core is good. Atari under also okay. But instead of Atari here, just extend. No B. Because when black cuts, then it's good to take the call. Playing Atari and then coming back here, it's like playing no B, black connects and then immediately take a neutral point. You don't need to play a move at K4, it's wasting a move. You better play something here, because nothing happens if Atari and go down for example. Black is still surrounded and captured. So Atari here, you need to come back and then black can make some eye shape. Turn once is good. And then defend the corner. Not turning, black can go down. And then white has to protect at M3. And then black can even think about uh, counter attack. This is a little bit slack. Going down here has a threat at M3. And then uh, there's this cutting point too. I can connect everything together. So this was a bit slack. Protecting the left side is big. But it's safer to play one space jump or Ogema. The problem is that the middle group uh, looks very thin for white right now. I mean, all these stones in the center, they seem to die on a large scale. So two space jump. Cross cut, that's a bit desperate. Instead of playing the Nobi, why should Atari first? And now when black extends, uh, white extends too. Because you don't want black separated C5. Also, it's possible to Atari from the outside, then Atari again, and then just extend. Or squeeze. And then connect in order to attack the right side again. This is painful for black. He got a heavy group on the left side and the middle dragon is still under pressure. So when playing Atari here, uh, black can get a breather. Now again, white can think about Atari like this. If black connects, white goes down. If black plays here, black needs to save the left side. But then he has a problem in the center. And if black plays the other way like trying to live in the corner it's not enough room so this group will die unconditionally one eye only also when playing here black captures atari then black needs to leave somehow and again White can focus uh, to attack the middle group. Take away the base first. So white went down, then connect. Now the corner is a little bit hurt. But luckily uh, white survives with a good shape. So all these moves are forced. Well, black shouldn't connect here. It's too slack. It's only one stone. It's better to block like this, threatening the cut at M3. Or just start from the M3 cut and then block and then leave it like this and now it's important to protect the top because the, the B17 group is in trouble and also the, the other top group in case white cuts in the middle and like this white should protect the left side but on territory it still feels good for black because he's got all the right side and the rest of the board seems small so connecting here was a bit slack white can push to destroy some points in center then cut like this. This is an option too. And then go for the kill in the top. Uh, black can probably leave. But anyway, it's painful. So I get a lot of profit on the left side attacking severe. It's good to cut your opponent's stones or separate his groups in order to make profit. Here black is greedy, black should just turn and Atari to keep the right side is center because the right side is where he's got the most potential and then play away. So now connect, slide very good, 
this push is wrong. Uh, black should play the attach and then connect. Or uh, just S7. White is alive in the corner, but this is proper. Oops, let's see the actual game. So push, that's an Aji Keshi. White is fine. This move is no need. Nothing happens there. Um, Black should still do something on the left side. <clears throat> this can be an aggressive way. Super proper. Uh, that's also small at this stage. So Atari, go down. It's only a couple of points to connect at P1, so Black can play away again. Nice cut. Mm, yeah, the center is a little bit in trouble. Now here, White missed another opportunity to kill some stones. Well, first of all, Black should play this move, then push again in the top, then play the vital point, and it's alive. This is Miai between playing in the corner and going down. So black could lose one stone, but secure the corner. Going down, black can lose everything. Now the way to surround and kill, it's actually B13. There is no way out for black, and luckily, it's only space for one eye. Because A17 eye is a false one. So black is dead, but overall, uh, I think it's still okay for black. Let's check the score estimator. Well, except if he dies in the middle. Let's say he plays some moves like this, and the middle is safe too. Let's check now. Uh, okay. Oh, now it says white plus 7 points. Also, white is actually good after killing the top left corner. Ah, yeah. This was the chance. Playing the move here uh, allows a jump. And that's quite annoying because when uh, white tries to kill, black can take back and still run out on the left side. <clears throat> but the vital point is still B19. And then fight. In fact, white has a pretty good move to block like this. And then Atari. And if white, uh, black goes down, Atari from the outside. This creates a dumb Tsumari. So black will be captured. Playing like this, black makes two eyes. So white lost another big opportunity to come back in the game. Taking two stones is not very big. Should try other moves, a little more severe. For example, peep like this, then push and cut. And now either catch the three stones on the left side or the group in the top. Black has to survive in the top, trying to take the two stones. But white can even discard them and double up here in order to kill the, the group on the left. No way for that group to leave. In fact, now white can actually capture two stones because black will die inside anyway. It's not enough space. That's maximum one eye. Bulky five formation. So, took the two stones, then black is trying to destroy the middle. Now should peep like this once, then the other way, then cut. Ah, black just connected. So, pull back. And then if uh, black connects here, white cuts like this. And if black connects here, white cuts the other way. And even if black captures a few stones, it's still a good deal for white to capture the guys on the left side because it's more surrounding territory around the dead stones. The bamboo connection is fine. But now black it's all safe. That was not even needed. So from here on, 
there are only small small moves left and it's really no way for white to come back because white's groups white's territories are pretty limited yeah capturing the top left was one two three four five six seven that's 14 points 15 16 17 18 19 20 plus uh, black made three points inside or two so it's over 20 points to take that uh, group early on and in the end black uh, won by 16 points so capturing the top left would have changed the, the result it actually works to play the clamp if black goes out just atari if black plays here atari and capture well it's a matter of a couple of points but it's good to know that the move works and these are pretty much neutral points and that was it oh this is dangerous just connect solid when playing atari black can use the double atari so black just blundered and lost a few more points also black was actually winning much bigger if the top left dies so in these games in in this game there were two big opportunities capturing the middle group to surround early on and then capture the the corner and then white can win by a pretty comfortable margin enjoy the review